top three boards of the trip. Number three on my list would have to be the tugboat with the doozies. That felt awesome. Super poppy, super, I don't know, it felt kind of like a little board, but it's a big board. The doozies, I think, are the best feel for grass slides that we have. Nice, big contact patch. You stay on top, you don't dig in. Round lip, keep it going. All right, my number two choice would have to be the Ripper. I skated that at the slide jam we went to. And with the polar bears, it's super surfy. And with the easy hogs, it just slides so good. My number one would have to be the Big Dipper. Longest board we have on the trip, but it turns like, turns on the dime. You can just turn in circles all day. Super curvy and flexy. That's the combo you want. Flexi and curvy. Oh. Strat is the longest board we've ever had. Rude. What? <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> Top three boards. I'm gonna start with the Big Dipper. I think that one was, no, I don't think I know that that one was my absolute favorite on this trip. You have so much space on it and it's completely different from the Tony because you don't have a kick and a tail and it's directional, but you have so much space to just play around and like cross stuff. The setup is super bouncy how I was skating it. The flex is super nice. It gives a lot back, especially when you're really leaning into those carbs. It just feels so nice. I love riding it right at the front because you can get like this really cool surfy, carby vibe so yeah i love that board i had so much fun on it i can't wait to take it home and just like spend a lot of time on it and then the skiff i skated that one in kona a lot a good hybrid a good all-around board i had a lot of fun on that one too because i could pop tricks on it i love doing front shoves on it and just also being able to cruise around and and do other things that i wouldn't usually be able to do on like a standard skateboard and then of course the tony danza um, that one is an easy one. Top three favorite boards of the trip. I think I came to like the Raft Solitaire the most, right off the bat. Big and wide under the feet, so it was a lot of confidence on the snake run in Kona. Really nice shape to be able to pop and and do tricks too. It's sort of like a tugboat, but to the extreme. So I think the raft stood out for me at first, for sure. I ended up coming to love the Dropcat 33 as well. Cruising around on that was really fun because it was just kind of small and whippy. Really controllable to kind of like schlub out carves and do little slides at the end so you can control the speed really well. And the Surfscape Butter Spectrum was so much fun at the Bro Bowl. That park was pretty much made for surf skates. To be able to have the super surfy truck and the grippy wheels, you could pretty much take any line your mind would come up with in a skate park like that. It's really hard to pick, but I'd have to go number one with Simon, which is the tugboat with the new doozies on it, the jet ski fun. Oh my gosh, I had a lot of fun on that board. In Kona, at Road Bowl, and just cruising around. It was such a great board. I had a really fun time on Sally. Sally's the dipper and Sally, she shreds. <laughs> what would be another favorite? Oh, the Dropcat 33, for sure. Yeah, that was really fun. So much fun uh, skating down the Pink Palace on that. A uh, little quick dip in and dip out before security got us. And uh, yeah, those are my top three. Top three boards of the trip. Woo! Well, the drop cat just always has a special place in my heart. You just slap these huge wheels on it, these plow kings, 180 mil trucks for nice surfy carves. It just doesn't get wheel bite. The rocker makes the trucks more responsive when you lean the board to one side. The thing really reacts quickly. Really agile, really stable. Uh, it has a little bit of flex, but it's stiff. It's good for everything. And honestly, just the most amazing commuting board. Always have at least one kicktail in your top three. You know? I was riding the dinghy blunt synth. It has a nice kicktail, really good pop. Yeah, so those chubby hugs on this hot Florida pavement, oof, they were just sliding so good. 
really fun to ride. Carby, the dinghy blunt, just the perfect size. You can still consider it like a mini board, but at the same time, it's sturdy enough to just give you confidence and actually be able to ride it like a pro. The third best one was, I gotta say the fixed blade. I just took it out for one night, pretty much that was it. Ripping around on the river path on the fixed blade. It's just so fast and so carvy. It's awesome to ride anywhere. And it got me down a set of stairs. That's how sturdy it is and stable. It's easy to ride. And there's a lot of boards on this trip. It's really hard to decide. I had some fun on the Big Dipper. Sally was amazing. <laughs> She's the Dipper postcard with Gen 6 reverse kingpin trucks and fatty hogs. That is a killer setup. Absolutely amazing. Another honorable mention to Simon, what we gave the name for uh, the tugboat with the doozies on it. The doozies are the newest wheel in the Hogs lineup. Extremely wide, amazing roll speed, incredibly smooth sliding, and good grip for the carves. And the tugboat has a five degree wedge riser on the front, so it's slightly directional turning, which makes it a bit more darty. And with the grippy wide wheels on it, oh, it just feels amazing. Yeah, so those are my boards.